everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Kenithia Gilliam and today is March the 19th I do believe it's on a Tuesday and it is 11 35 ish a.m. so yeah I have a video for you today with a mates update so um, if you're new to this channel hello welcome so nice to see you if you're returning hey girl how you doing glad you stopped in today so anyway I have some mates for you today, only four of them to show. And then I'm gonna tell you a little backstory of how I switched from what I was making at first into what I'm making now. So first, um, yeah. You remember all those dresses that I cut out? I think it was Simplicity 882, 8872, or something of that nature. Anyway, you remember all those dresses I said I was going to cut out? I did cut them out. I did not sew them all up because when I got ready to sew them, I don't know what happened, but I could not get the neckline line right. And I tried it twice, and it didn't work. And I'm thinking my sewing machine that I was using needed some maintenance. It still do need some maintenance. So anyway, I had put it to the side because I became frustrated. And the idea came to me. I was like, you know, um, maybe I should just stick with some knit fabric because... We can always use our sergers to sew up a dress and be done with it. And that's my friend. That's exactly what I did. So I got a pattern from Pattern Emporia, um, the long weekend dress. And I decided to make that dress the first dress that I would preview or showcase in my um, my boutique, my online boutique. Once I get the online website and everything set up, you know. But anyway, I decided that to be the first dress. And that's what I'm wearing today. I have four of these to show you. I am pretty sure that I'm going to make at least two more, maybe three, because I don't have any solid colors to show you. But for today, I have four of them. So this fabric, first of all, came from uh, Ugla's Closet. I order the majority of my fabric from them. This is one of their own specialty um, knit fabrics. I think um, this is the print they design. So anyway, I have this print right here. Um, the dress. Let's talk about the pattern for um, Pattern Emporia first. So, the dress comes with, you have a neckband, you have an armband, you have the whole front is one. No seam, the whole front is one. But then you have the back, which is the skirt piece because there's a seam right here. Am I in the camera? Yeah. So there's a seam right here. So you have the skirt part and then you have the back bodice part. So you have neckband, armband, front piece, skirt part for the back, and the um, back body. So you have five pieces. The um, They have an option with splits. I did a baby split here. I'm not too fond of splits. It's just not my thing, you know? So I don't do splits like that. But I will do like this baby split. So that's what I did. Um, it didn't say anything about it being stripe friendly, but I took a risk. And I did it in this striped fabric. And I think it turned out absolutely pretty, gorgeous. And I'm in love with it. So, um, it's made, you have to have a four-way stretch fabric. So, this is a double brush poly, but it's a summer one. So, it's kind of thin. It's not like the winter one. So, it's thin, but it's good. It has good recovery. So, I made it out of that. Um, now, this one, I made it out of the way they said to make it. Okay? But, and I did two of them like that. But my other two, I didn't see the purpose of doing it that way. So let me explain to you. So when you put on your bands, they're a wide band. You put, you have your band, you first you have your long piece of band, right? You're going to sew it right sides together. And then you're going to sew it to the neckline with right sides together. And then you're going to take the end that is not sewn. You're going to finish it, flip it to the inside, and then sew it around like top stitch it. Okay, I did it, but you can't see it. But that top stitching right here, baby, it's told up. It's told. It's told. Up. Ain't nothing straight about it. Ain't nothing straight about it. So I decided not to do that with my other ones. I decided to just take the neckband, fold it in half, and serge it. And to me, it gave it the same look. The inside looked nice. And hey, I, I'm gonna continue doing my dresses that way. Okay. So, um, I didn't go through all that other complicated stuff after the second time. I was like, no, there got to be a better way. So, I just folded them in half, and I did it for the arms, too, in the other dress. And 
I did top stitch one of them around to um because it's a thicker fabric. You will have to do it with a thicker fabric, but other than that, they fit the same way. So I don't not quite sure why you had to do it that way, but I tried it and I didn't like it, and I'm gonna stick with my way, okay? So let me show you the dress first of all. The ones that I did myself before I tried them. So this is the one that I just I did it my way. I searched the net band on. Did I do this one like that? No, I didn't do this one like that. Hold on. It wasn't this one. It was this one. So I just searched the net band on like, you know, you normally would. And I iron it. And when you see me with it on, it's just as flat. It looks nice. I didn't top stitch just top, top stitch this one because it didn't need it. You know, it's not a thick fabric. So, but it looks just as nice. But hold on, I'm going to try this on for you. And um, I'm going to let you see for yourself. I ain't see the point doing all that, so just hold on. Okay, so here the dress I have it on for you, but see it lays flat. I just add some steam to it, baby, and it this it, it lays flat. Here it go right there. I ain't shaved, so whatever. But it, it lays flat, you know. So I don't see the point of you know doing all that top, you know, the way they was telling you to do it. To me, that was a waste of time. So anyway, I have this dress right here. I really like this print. I got this a long time ago from a company in Hawaii. I think it's called Fabric Mark. It's called Fabric Mark, if I'm not mistaken. And I picked this up. This dress is kind of loose. And I'm glad it's loose for today. Because, girl, woo, I'm bloated today. So, um, it's a good thing this dress is loose today. But I have this dress, and I did take it down almost to the ankles as the other dress. Um, like I said, you can, to I could have totally took this dress in. But I like it like it is. And, um, yeah, this is version number two. Turn them around so you can see. And, yes, here it is. Yeah, I like this one, too. Like I said, I don't know why they did all that with the neckband. But I won't never do it again because it was just too much work. So, hold on. I'm going to show you dress number three. Okay, so here, dress number three. And y'all got my bedroom shoes on. This is because I'm home. I'm chilling, you know. So, anyway. But this is the shorter version of the dress. I did take this down to the knees. And I think it's pretty. I got this print from Ogle's Closet. And, um, yeah, I got this print from Ogle's Closet. Had it about a year now. But anyway, I really like this. I didn't do any changes to it. Um, this time, this is, I think it was the first one, I, or second one I made. And I followed these same directions. But, um, yeah, like I said, I would never do that again. But here's the dress. I think it's very pretty. One thing I like about this dress, it comes in a, um, wide variety of sizes. So, I'm a 38 here, a 34 here, probably not today, maybe a 35 today, but it's a 34 here, and my hips are sometimes a 44, 44 and a half, or a 45, 45 and a half. They, I don't know why they fluctuate like that. Do your hips do that? Is that normal? I'm 36, by the way. So just let me know if that's normal, but my hips fluctuate too, along with everything else. But anyway, one thing I like about their patterns is that you can get them in different sizes, they have a wide variety of it. This goes up. This is big girl friendly, thick girl friendly, um, voluptuous friendly, whatever you want to call it. It's friendly. I even think it's mom friendly. Now, I have a mom's gut, as you can see. Now, I had two C-sections, so I think this is important to mention. I had two C-sections, so therefore I have this um, this part right here. Right, here. I don't know if you, if you all had natural babies. Do you still have this? I'm not for sure. You know, I've never seen it on most women. But I have this part because I had C-sections and I also had two other surgeries here. So I have this part right here. It's just there, you know, whatever. But I think the dress camouflages it pretty nicely. What do you think, you know? I think it camouflages pretty nicely. But, yeah. Anyway, I think it's friendly if you do, do have a gut or whatever. And I do have some high, <laughs> high-waisted panties. Look, I ain't into that bikini stuff. When I wear drawers, I want to be comfortable. I don't want to be digging nothing out my hand part throughout the day. So, um, I got the high rise on and they, they don't show a line or anything, but it will keep everything nice. So anyway, um, let me know what you think. Like I do believe that the dress, you know, it fits. I think this is for anybody body composition size. I really think this is friendly for anybody size. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments of it so far. Never with dress number three, and I have dress number four to show you. And just hold on for a second, and I'm going to show you the dress, okay? 
Okay, so here's the last dress that I made. Now, I had this fabric. It's been sitting there for a while, and I was like, it's still kind of cool. So, I'm going to take it and make the dress out of This is a um, velour. It's a brush velour. I believe that's what it is. The inside looks like this, by the way. Uh, like that. So, but I think this is a brush velour. And um, it stretches. It stretches like that. Yeah. But I love this print right here. I couldn't figure out what to do with it because it's only two yards of it. But the dress is the Long Weekend Dress by Pattern and Pori. I hope I said that in the beginning. But it's called the Long Weekend Dress by pa um, Pattern and Poria. But I'm going to call it the Bandit Dress in my shop. Okay? So, and I did, um, I think this is a, it's, a, it's like a sweater, ribbon it. It's thick. But I thought it would look nice as a contrast around this instead of just having this print around that. First of all, because this doesn't stretch. I mean, it does. But no, it didn't stretch this way. And I couldn't put the bands around because of, you know, it has that, I think it's called a nape. So if you go up this way, it's rough. But if you come down, it's very smooth. So I decided to put this on it. And I think it's, you know, it suits very fine. It looks really good, whatever. But yeah, here's the dress right here. I brought this a little bit past my knees. Now, like I like this, I can wear some booties with it, or some boots with it, high heels with it, or whatever. I can put a cardigan on, and I can wear it like so. Here's the back of the dress, like that. And like I said, it has that seam back there, but it looks really good. And yeah, another thing I like about dress, I hope I mentioned this before, it goes with your shape. That's important to me. It goes with your shape. It makes it look like a shape, like I'm shapely. And I'm not all that shapely, okay? But it does, I mean, I have some sort of a shape, but I'm not shapely. But I think this dress suits you very nicely. I'm going to make a couple of more of these. And I'm going to wear this today because I got to go grocery shopping. But yeah, so this is um, dress number four. I made four of these. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like the dress? Do you not like the dress? Um, what else? Do you have the dress? Have you made the dress? If not, what you waiting for? Go get it if you like it. Go get it, okay? And uh, what else? That's about it. So um, I'm going to now work on... I'm going to work on... Hold on. Just wait right there. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to work on this. You remember this dress pattern that I told you that I was going to make? And I probably can't find the uh, pattern. Hold on, you guys. I'm trying to find a pattern so I can show you. Because I don't know where that. Maybe down here. Okay, here we go. This one right here. I was working on this a while back. Yeah. You remember I had to stop working on it because I had turned this the wrong way. I mean, it's the right way. But it wasn't supposed to be attaching like this. It needed to be attaching like this, like the bottom ones, the top ones need to be attaching like that. So I'm going to do that over today. I'm going to unpick it, reattach it, and go ahead and put the skirt on this bad boy because I really want to wear it. We have a church brunch coming up Saturday, and I just think this would be, I mean, look at it. I think this would be super cute on me. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get this done so I can wear it on Saturday. And yeah, so that's what we're working on today. And, yeah, that's about it. I doubt if I get anything else done. I do have some garments that need to be altered. They're my personal ones. Um, ones for, for me and one for my youngest one. So, I might get that completed today. But other than that, we're going to focus on this because I really want to wear it on Saturday. But other than that, I hope you have a fantastic day. Sorry I have to rush, but if I was getting that done today, I ain't getting that done all week. I got to do something today because I ain't did nothing yesterday, okay? But I love you with the love of Christ. I hope you have a wonderful week. I plan on seeing you on Friday with the reveal of this dress right here and one, at least another make. I know I'm going to make at least something else. <coughs> I just don't know what else, okay? But I love you. Have a wonderful week. And let me know what you think in the comments about this dress, okay? Have a good one. Bye-bye.